find the value of a and b uh, if uh, if uh, root 2 plus root 3 over 3 root 2 minus 2 root 3 is equal to a this is equal to a minus b root 6 okay now this is an example of third form okay this now this you need to simplify this so let us take the left hand side and write lhs for left hand side okay so the left hand side is root 2 plus root 3 over 3 root 2 minus 2 root 3 now whenever you want to simplify a third form you have to rationalize the denominator now how do you do that to rationalize the denominator that means you want a neat number in the denominator okay now this is this is in the third form now to change this into a neat number you multiply by the conjugate of the denominator now the conjugate of is the opposite of this so the opposite of this is I'm going to multiply the denominator by the opposite or additive opposite of this so that is 3 root 2 plus 2 root 3 now in maths you can't do anything only on the denominator so you multiply also the numerator so that is 3 root 2 plus 2 root 3 now basically the step this is nothing but 1 so this and this are one and the same so now you have to do a bit of algebra that is root 2 plus root 3 times 3 root 2 plus 2 root 3 over this whole thing which is 3 root 2 minus 2 root 3 times 3 root 2 plus 2 root 3 now before I do the next step you should be knowing this formula which is very useful in algebra okay that is difference of two squares formula has <coughs> difference of squares okay and some books they also use the abbreviation of DOS DOS okay it's well known difference of two squares the formula is like this a minus b times a plus b is a squared minus b squared now if you have a plus b times a minus b what would be the answer okay so is there any difference between this and this you're multiplying two numbers you multiply this is a number and this is a number or this is an expression and this is your know, multiplying two expression in any order doesn't make any difference so this is again where students do mistake they write a squared plus b squared there is no this also is a squared minus b squared okay so if you compare a with 3 root 2 and b with 2 root 3 you can use this formula okay so what i'm saying is compare a with 3 root 2 and b with 2 root 3 now again i hope if you expand this i'm not going into that you can do that yourself if you expand this you'll get this okay so let me get back my brown color okay so now you have to expand so i'll do more steps so that you understand so this is uh root 2 times 3 root 2 <coughs> excuse me plus i'm using the foil method so that is root 2 times 3 root 2 plus root 2 times 2 root 3 plus now root 3 times uh, 3 root 2 plus root 3 times 2 root 3 many of you may know directly to how to do this now using this formula directly i can say this is 3 root 2 squared minus 2 root 3 squared now it's always good to do more steps rather than less number of steps or fewer steps so yeah this is root 2 times root 2 now these are some facts that you should know root 2 times root 2 is root 4 which is nothing but 2 so let me change color so this becomes this is 3 times 4 which is 12 plus 
this is root 2 times root 3 is root 6 so that is this is 2 root 6 plus this is 3 root 6 because root 3 times root 2 is root 6 and this root 3 times root 3 is 3 times 2 is 3 times 2 is 6 am I right yeah 3 times 2 is 6 over yeah you have to square both of them so this is 3 squared is 9 times root 2 squared is root 2 times root 2 which is 2 minus this is 2 squared which is 4 times root 3 times root 3 is 3 okay so this becomes so 12 plus 6 is 18 am I right 12 plus 6 is 18 plus 5 root this is 2 root 6 plus 3 root 6 is 5 root 6 oops 5 root 6 over this is 9 times 2 is 18 minus 12 which is uh, 18 uh, oh I made a mistake here can you see the mistake I'm yeah this uh, this should be 4 times 3 is 12 I don't know why I wrote 4 times 3 is 12 that's right I wrote 12 yeah uh, 4 times oh this is 2 times 3 yeah again I'm gonna make a mistake this is root 2 times root 2 is 2 2 times 3 is 6 yeah okay I was, it's always good to check okay so this is uh, 6 plus 6 is 12 yeah okay so this looks better so this is 12 plus 5 root 6 over 18 minus 18 minus 12 is 6 so I can factor out uh, okay now I want to write this as this form a minus b root 6 so I don't want to disturb this root 6 so can I write this as 12 over 6 plus 5 over 6 root 6 now they have put a minus to confuse you so this minus can be taken care by this is nothing but 2 minus or take away minus 5 over 6 root 6 because take minus and minus gives you plus so they're asking you and that's what they want to write so yeah your a in other words your a is 2 and your b is minus 5 over 6